That's each insane. one of these big, like the big guys you see there, yep. um, are going to be in the vicinity of nine to ten pounds. Oh. <laughs> oh man, you kind of tickle. Yeah, so we never have more than two lambs in an area this big. Um, so they've got quite a bit of area to roam, and then they yeah. also... Yeah, they've got a lot of space here. Tons of space. And wow. And we also put them out in here. Um, and... Bah. Bah. I can't grab it, yeah. So good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is, these guys are kids, right? Like they're, you know, probably in their teens and the equivalent right now. And they kind of just spend their days like playing, right? And they run around, they run through these blackberry bushes and we've got corn. Oh, sweet. Coming out. And it's a really cool plant. Almost kind of, is it? Um, this stuff, you can see that? Whoa. Oh yeah. That's the uh, pollen coming out. And each one of these pollinates, like this is the male part of the plant. Yeah, and then this is the female part of the plant, and that will pollinate each one of these. And each one of these little fronds no corresponds to a kernel oh, of corn. Oh wow! So each one of those have you ever had corn and like one of them's missing or something? Yeah, yeah. It's because like maybe one of those got torn off or something. Oh, or crazy! Missing. Yeah, so it didn't get pollinated. So it's a super cool way that the plant. Um, Where? Oh man, this is crazy. So during the day, we usually let them off in, out in turns. So yeah. There's three kind of uh, perches here. We let them out and they kind of roam around here. Yeah. Um, for some parts of the day, I think earlier today, there were some eagles swirling. Oh. Uh, and we've actually lost about four to eagles in the last few weeks. I mean, they're eating like non-GMO heritage basmati rice, right? <laughs> like, it's, like, it's like a hilarious diet for some chickens. Guy in the back there, Tom, yeah. our sole turkey. Is that Tom? Yeah. The best turkey gobble. I don't even know how to do a turkey gobble. <laughs> <laughs> His mouth's moving. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? What's that? What's, What's that wrong with you? Uh, a chicken tikka masala, um, that's right here. Chicken that we raise out of our farm. We've got a homemade yogurt, uh, ginger mint raita right there. This is pickled, turmeric pickled kohlrabi from our farm. Um, again, home roasted and ground spices, papadum chip, it's chickpea flour. Uh, this is pickled rhubarb from our farm as well. On top of the, uh, the slaw salad, those giant heads of cabbage. Yeah, giant heads of yeah, cabbage. Yeah. 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 And here is the short ribs. So these are beef short ribs, pasture raised. Um, well, that American smells beef. incredible. We brine them for a week, smoke them for 12, 14 hours, and these are patty pans growing. I think you guys saw the, those little yeah, guys yeah. and corn. Yeah. Basil vinaigrette on both. Uh, basil from our, our greenhouse there and cilantro. And this is like a chipotle lime slaw as well. Awesome. And then just give this guy a quick description. So this yep. is the one you guys have all the time. San yes. This is the one we have all the time. It's vegan, gluten-free, sandwich tin lentils, the only lo local lentils grown on Vancouver Island. Uh, homemade rhubarb chutney, ginger pickled cabbage, again from our farm on top, papa dumb chips, 850. Can I get that? So <laughs> it's amazing, so amazing. Okay. Done yet. We finally went to a place that Dal's been ranting about for I guess it's been seven years. Or maybe just It might seem like that because I talk about it all the time. Weeks. I gotta say it lived up to the hype. Yeah, it's amazing. The uh, we had the short ribs tonight. And I'm picking my teeth because we got corn. I also got stuff in his teeth, dude. I haven't had my corn yet, do I? Yeah, right there. It's incredible. Every time I have Juma, um, I've eaten there like, I don't know, eight times. And it's incredible every single time. 18 times. I've eaten there once. Can all afford to eat out every day. And uh, we had short ribs. We had lentils. We had with the tiki masala. Tiki, you 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 just like the name. You want to say it. you got that thing in your teeth still. That's okay, but it's it, it it's worth getting something in your teeth for uh, to eat that. Yeah, dirty teeth, good thing. So if you're gonna if you're looking for a food truck, you have to try Juma. If you see them, and you don't try them, then you're doing something wrong. That's how I look at it. It's yeah. amazing. 
So we were at the Oakland's uh, Sunset Market. We're just finishing up there, and we're gonna I guess, head home now. The sun hasn't set yet, so I mean, when is it set? Nine thirty? No. Eight? I don't know. But we're gonna get out of here. If you see Juma, give him a shot. We got that farm tour. You guys would have saw that earlier. We basically saw pigs just playing. That was their farm tour. Yeah, the, the one pig was bashing into the other one. They're having a good time. So you got 80 pound pigs, and then Dallas went and stepped on a big, big pile of crap. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so you guys have a good night. Peace out, homies. I'll see ya. This, chair, this is awesome. He's got some garlic chilling right on the chair there. I think it's been here for a really long time here.